And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Zareth Renekton. We are going to try to make Buried Sun Disc work or, you know, give us give our best shot at it. Uh, we're going to be playing Mono Shirima with the Buried Sun Disc using um, champion that's been buffed up. Renekton used to take 12 damage to level up, now only takes 10 damage. So it should be a lot easier to level up. It is a 4-4 that whenever it challenges gets the plus 2, so that makes it 6 power. And if we can combine that with Unleashed Energy, destroying a landmark, we get plus 4. That could be a one-shot level up uh, for 10. Of course, Renekton's Ascended, Xerath is Ascended. They're both Ascended champions for the Buried Sun Disk. Xerath is also not too difficult to level up. All we need to do is destroy 4 landmarks, and that's really what we're focusing on more with this deck is lots of landmarks, lots of landmark destruction. Don't actually have that much vulnerable as far as Renekton is concerned. All we got in here is just the Rock Hoppers and the Unraveled Earths. So we're not really as focused on uh, having Renekton challenge, but hopefully all these landmarks, th those should be pretty easy to level up. We're also gonna have the Siphoning Strikes in here. So Siphoning Strike is gonna be a big way of leveling up Renekton besides just challenging because remember, Siphoning Strike is a strike. And, you know, can make, you know, if we put it on a Renekton, Renekton can strike and deal damage. And that could be another way to level up Renekton. So we're going to give that a try as well. So, um, yeah, we got lots of landmarks. And, of course, we want really an abundance of landmarks with Xerath. Because not only do we want the four to level up Xerath, but then after Xerath's leveled up, each one that's destroyed is dealing three to the weakest enemy. And if we're able to restore the Sun Disk, if we're lucky enough... You know, then we get this level 3 Zareth that is incredible. So hopefully we get to do that at some point. But let's go ahead and give it a try. Let's try Mono, Sharima, Zareth, Renekton. Here we go. Okay, so we have Fizz, Poppy. So Fizz, Poppy should be a Bandle Tree deck. We do have those Desert Naturalists that I'm going to want to hold on to the De Desert Naturalists. I think this is actually a pretty good hand. I think that we want card draw for this matchup because I think that you know, like they're going to have lots of card draw. I think that we want to be able to, uh, you know, have a good amount of cards and everything to be able to keep up. Mama's home. Mm. Oh, would you look at this place? Hmm. Cool. I like seeing that, you know, they, they passed the round thinking that, um... You know, because we, we can use that spell mana really well there. You know, they pass the thing that, that, that they're kind of scared of my Roiling Sands when they didn't really have to be. Alright, so it's going to let them just unload Owlcats. I should make a speech. Where's my speech? Pops, in your hat. I put it in your hat this morning. <laughs> It would be nice to find either side. So basically, the cards we want to draw right now are Xerath and Siphoning Strike. I think those are the two that we want to find the most. All right, so this Bandle City Mayor was just free. <laughs> It costs three mana, but then they just save three mana. Okay. We ate a mini morph. Not too bad. Let's get Bomber Twins in play. And now we kind of have too many Preservariums. Yeah, because they're... We're going to be able to attack for a decent amount. Wouldn't be a quest without some danger. 
One mana short. All right, how do they stop siphoning strike? I don't. Maybe they can't. But one mana short from unleashed energy to buff up the bomber twins. But if I just siphoning strike the poppy right now, I think we got to do that. I, th I don't think we can let them just grow everything. Even though it would have been nice to have the Renekton in play first, I think we gotta do that. Okay. So now. My playing Preservarium or saving spell mana. Next round. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have seven mana. I hope they stop having mini morphs. We use the unleashed energy. Oh, come on. <sighs> Alright, so there's only one more Renekton in the deck. At least we're doing good card wise, right? Like, we have a lot of cards compared to them. So that's good. That's fine. I don't really need that other Risen Altar. So that's acceptable. If it's made of sand, I can ride it. Today too slow, stupid. No. Bad poppy. Yeah, chat's saying they think that uh, Out of my way. Mini Morph will be fast after the next patch, and I could definitely see that. I could definitely see that. Okay, final Renekton. They're not going to have the third Mini Morph, I'm calling it. No third Mini Morph. No more mini morphs. No mini morph. Yeah, no mini morph. All right, so once we once we draw a Zareth, Zareth will get these to level three because Zareth is leveled up. Renekton's the one that's more difficult for us to level up. I'm of course n not playing this naturalist at all until they play a Vandal Tree, which there's a Vandal Tree. Bandle tree is the way we lose, probably. Alright, come on, Zareth. We've drawn lots of cards. We've drawn over half our deck. I think we would find one of these Zareths. I should make a speech. Where's my speech? Pops in your head. I'm right, well, gonna blow up a morning. five four impact four. That's a lot of impact. I don't know. Do I need to keep this Preservarium? No, probably not. I probably want the 2-2 to block. Alright, maybe... Actually, maybe this was a mistake. So my, my thinking was... I guess we don't need Quicksand, do we? So we're going to take 5. We go to 5. Taking more than five, aren't we? Being seven. Dang, seven's a lot. Maybe I shouldn't have done that because I could have just gotten this blocker instead of getting this thing, and then I could have had quicksand. I don't know. They're not gonna have noxion purple or anything, right? Blah. 
I don't think they're gonna have an option. Alright, Zara time. Zara time. Alright, so they only have two cards we don't know about. That's bad. That's bad. I need that naturalist if they have Vandal Tree. Definitely it feels bad. Baddies beware, mama's got a gun. Let's cook him. How dare they? We have the most amount of mana gems we can have anyway. Matter if we get rid of one. Get rid of a blocker. Okay, I think we go for the win, but obviously I just want to play the Zareth, but I think we're supposed to go for the win. Three spells? Yeah, what do they have? Flock, flock. They've already played two pokey sticks. Yeah, flock, group shot, group shot. All right, we shall save. Dami. All right, round start. We found Zareth! Let's see, Zareth movie. Zareth first level up. Sun Disc. Yeah, we'll still win with Zareth. Yeah. Level 3 Zareth, round start, deal 5 to the enemy Nexus. Let's make bigger Zareth. Oh, it doesn't it doesn't actually grow. Siphoning strike doesn't work with level 3 Zareth because it obliterates, doesn't kill it. That's funny. Good job, Zareth. I think it's good for us to play against Vandal Tree because we have that landmark removal with the naturalist. And then they're kinda slower. So I think that's like a kind of matchup that we want to face. I like the sand. Uh this could be a Targon's Peak deck, so maybe finding another Naturalist would maybe not be so bad. Thank you. Hopefully that can blow up a Targon's Peak. Alright, so assuming this is Catalyst of Aeons, is it worth attacking for 6 and allowing them to Catalyst of Aeons, or should I just pass the round? I think we attack because we have, if they, so like they're going to Catalyst because that's the best thing they could have and we always know that the opponent has the best thing they could have. And so then 
they have Targon's Peak this next round, but I can still Naturalist this next round. So I think we're okay. Let me go Peak. Let me blow it up. So now we are attacking for eight. I kind of want to go Preservarium, Preservarium, and just get a lot of card draw coming in. We'll go, we'll go right. Okay, good, Royal Spirit. I'm glad, glad that's helped. Alright, so that grows. Renekton. You're only one out of four right now. I don't know. I I guess we'll try this. I'm just worried about Frostbite, but I guess we shall try it. Okay, that's good news. It's not Frostbite. Because like Frostbite or Hush. So we're attacking for 15. I could go for Lethal. I think we'll just go for Lethal and just, you know, like it's... These games don't get better for us the longer they go, you know, in this kind of matchup. So let's just go for lethal. Oh! Got another star shaping. So close. Need to draw a pokey stick. So close. Okay, so we've only had so we've had three landmarks get destroyed now. I will whip the power from the desert. Yeah, because now we have like open attack with all these. Again, we need that clutch Desert Naturalist. Desert Naturalist blowing up these landmark win con decks. Darkness control. Darkness control. Another mini morph deck. Another mini morph deck. Just keep one ancient preparations. I don't want the second one. So I'm always worried about Twisted Catalyzer. And so that's why I uh, went with this first to look for a two drop. So if they have Twisted Catalyzer, we need to be able to block it right away. That card is so good. And so good in particular if you can't kill it. But still, they're, they're looking good. They got that Twisted Catalyzer looking good. We're not doing very good with our Sun Disc yet. I need to get that in play next round. <laughs> Come on. I 
I wanted to play Deval plus Sundisk next round, of course. That's what I wanted to do. And then Vagar. Oh, uh, this is a problem. Countdown to obliterate the weakest enemy. I held Sundisk because I had to play the other one mana landmark card to uh, predict so that I could find a two mana card to be able to kill Twisted Catalyzer, which we did, and which we needed to. I want to play you Zareth, but I can't. I want to play you Buried Sundisk, but I can't. Had a really good hand. I guess I can't attack because if they have Otter Puss, then we don't get rid of Vagar. They did have Otter Puss too, that's crazy. Their hand has been insane. That prank hitting my sun disc too. Oh, are you kidding me? With then vile piece for that? Wow. This has been a perfect hand. Long road behind. Long road ahead. This has been crazy. We can't we can't play the sun disc anymore. I mean it's Yeah. I understand. We have trouble with Sun Disc, I understand. We have trouble with a lot of stuff right now. Seriously? What are these pranks? So we got that to work out. Killed the Vagar. Eye forward. Darkness and light. So bad. I was hoping I was gonna be able to stun Senna first. I think they I think they just had the, their entire collection 
in their hand and just like what's like the best possible card that they could have <laughs> and they've had it That was a good draw. Takes away the center from being fast beat. They're like these darkness from being fast beat, but of course, two darkness kills us. But I I need to do that to try to help my siphoning strike to kill the kill that thing. I'm here till it's done, and it's never done. <laughs> Keep your distance. Spell Shield obviously helps out Siphoning Strike too. Give me your malice, creatures of doom. If only this was unleashed energy. That was absurd. Okay, we'll send the naturalist back. Well, actually, wait, no, 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 no. We actually want naturalist. Never mind to go with these endless bouts, right? Right. <laughs> I was gonna say we don't really need the naturalist, but. So Chronomancer will be vulnerable moving forward. We're not going to make that challenge, but that's going to be good for Endless Devout, being able to get something to kill. Ooh, or maybe Renekton. Could be a gift for Renekton. I want the 3-1 to trade with the Fearsome. Uh, really hope that's not either champion, but in particular, really hope that's not Pike. Okay, so they got Rek'Sai. It's gonna be really hard for Renekton to level up to just do damage twice. I think we still play it though. Then it goes down to one health, and then I challenge. Too bad, but at least they they miss lurk and we're you know trading with stuff. You always want to get the attackers out of here. The more we trade one for one, the better for us. All right, I was gonna play a two cost card, but since they're willing to not attack and not get lurk, I am willing to pass the round. Zareth would be nice. Alright, that's probably that Rek's Eye from earlier. They probably just put that back on top. Get the 
this new board. Oh, wait, wait, I don't have room for all this. What am I doing? I was just thinking like the two things. I forgot that we get the other thing though. Oh, what did I do? No, 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 no. Oh, I wasted that. Oh, I wasted that. That's my bad. That's my bad. Yeah, that was that was bad. Okay, so if I hourglass, they still get the pike, but they just don't strike with the pike. Is that worth doing now, or do we save it? I think we save it. We can still do that blocking-wise. Okay, we have space now. Zareth! I need Zareth. We really need Zareth. Considering taking this... So I have seven mana? One, two, three. Yeah, we could take this. Look for Zareth again. Yes. Okay. So now... Are you ready? <laughs> Let's take it for a spin. Could cover up Sun Disk. Like, like, are we realistic? Oh, I'll just pass. Man, we know that they have Rek'Sai. They should have other Call the Pack things. I'm just kind of, like, worried about, you know, like, these kind of cards, but... Because I have to proactively Ancient Hourglass. Or not. Maybe. Okay, so we know that they have Rek'Sai on top. Or, like, they're going to be playing Rek'Sai this round. And it's just this thing. This just kills the caller. All right, we need we need the stun landmark. I think that's like my oh my gosh, we got the stun landmark. Okay, okay. Can we go to three? They don't have like direct damage, do they? We can go to three, right? Oh wait, I can just block here. We go to eight. Okay. They didn't play Rek'Sai. I'm surprised. I guess Rek'Sai wasn't gonna level up. Wow, okay. Well then. And I thought there was something good. Well then. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right, we know that last card's Rex Eye. This is only fourteen, but I think we're good. I said that we needed Zareth. We found Zareth, and we have a stun landmark for Rex Eye. Stun. Rek'Sai, so I think we just good. Okay, three and one. Zareth cleaned up the lurkers. GG's. And though I made made a couple mistakes in there, like with the Desert Naturalist, but 
we got there? Thralls. Well, we're gonna need Desert Naturalist. Come on, Desert Naturalist. Naturalist. Yes, Naturalist. Okay. So we're gonna keep Naturalist and we're gonna send the rest back. These don't really matter. Because we could find another Naturalist, which would be nice. Um, but Unraveled Earth into Renekton. Not bad. We'll get the Sun Disc going. I think I'm going to just curve out. I don't think we need to save spell mana. I think we just kind of keep on playing our cards. I don't really need that rock hopper body. Ooh. So the thing about naturalist is, you know, a couple of things. Like, they could be playing Ride of Negation, which isn't, not, which isn't necessarily likely, but they could have Ride of Negation. And then also, we kind of, we don't want to use it too early, but then we also can't wait too late. It's, we're, you know, it's the, the tough kind of go between. Don't want to go too early with that, and don't want to go too late. Looks like they had a poor hand. I think I'm going to skip. I think that I just want to find, like, another Desert Naturalist. Renekton never dies! Dang, or Renekton will die sometimes. <laughs> they will do two damage to stuff. We have learned that. A siphoning strike would have also been nice to have. Let's play this thing. Alright, so Zerus at 2 out of 4. I guess we just play on this to devout. We don't need to play Zerus. Gives me opportunity to play naturalist or ride of the arcane. We're, we're not going to naturalist our own our own thing. Oh, see if I would have Zareth, that would have just died to Zareth. All right, let's just get big attacker and play. Start trying to finish the game. Okay, there was ride negation. I'm I'm honestly very happy about that. I'm happy to make that trade. Um, you know I don't want you know I don't want the naturalist getting right negation. So I'm I'm happy to have that get right negation. We're still going to get the seven six next round anyway. They'll still be attacking next round. A dark cloud looms on the horizon. Yeah, 7-6 seven, seven, Overwhelm Spell Shield. It's the bigger Ruin Runner. I guess I should have played the Unraveled Earth first before playing the Xerath. I should have got that in play first. They could have another right negation, but if I wait too long, they could go like triple, you know, 
uh, countdown to cards. And that will do. Four and one. All right, GG's four and one with Zareth Renekton. How about that? We're winning with a Sundisk deck. Everybody says that you, know, you can't play Sundisk, and you know even uh, you know afterwards people said you couldn't play Zareth and Renekton together. Like they, that wasn't a good deck. But we'll take a four and one in rank. Now we got some good luck with the pairings because we did play against three decks that had landmark win cons, and we're playing the D Desert Naturalist. So we got very lucky with those pairings because you know we blew up that Frozen Thrall. That was a big deal. Blew up um bandle tree you know and also blew up uh targon's peak but that's the thing there are like those different kind of decks that really are relying on the landmarks these days and so desert natural it's like having access to desert naturals that's a big deal and that's what we had here i think that one thing that i really liked about our deck compared to probably what other people are doing with uh zareth renekton is i think that other people are probably really trying harder for renekton so they're probably playing more of the vulnerable cards and things like that with Renekton, and I just kind of don't feel like that's the way to go with this. I think that um, you know, getting lots of landmarks and really focusing on Zareth is the way to go, and I think that that paid off uh, quite a bit in these games. Uh, you know, you still have your Siphoning Strike for Renekton, and it's still possible to level up Renekton. We did the one time, and we got the Sundust the one time, um, but I think that the landmarks are like the, the thing to focus on. So, all right, cool. So there we go. So that's uh, that's going to be Zareth Renekton. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button, leave those comments. Hopefully y'all enjoyed the deck. Hopefully y'all enjoyed a working Buried Sun Disc deck. Maybe Buried Sun Disc is, could be a thing. Maybe. Give it a try. Give this deck a try and let me know how it goes for you. Hopefully y'all uh, enjoy it. But that's going to be it here for Zareth Renekton. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.